guys how's going on my name is Louis. today is october 17 2024 and god bless to every single one of you guys make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell we have an urgent breaking news coming out when it comes to nation against nation now it says here the bear russia warns the holy land against striking persian nuclear facilities we have more breaking news updates Persian general warns, we will soon reveal a very powerful equipment, more sophisticated than drones, missiles, and nuclear technology that will change everything. <whistles> wow. Um, they have something that is much more powerful than nuclear? So we're going to soon find out, guys. Uh, I do believe this is going to happen before November. And we're like 18 days away. So, mm, the Holy Land said they're going to strike Persia before November 5th. Persia said if that happens, they're going to strike back. And they ain't going to take days weeks or months they say it's going to be in 15 minutes they're going to fire something towards the holy land something that is much more powerful than nuclear technology more sophisticated than drones missiles all right so we're going to find out guys uh before i start let's go with the verse of the day we're going to go with the book of proverbs chapter 10 verse 17. He who heeds discipline shows the way to life, but whoever ignores correction leads others astray. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 17. Let's go with the uh, thoughts on today's verse. Please share this video. Now, someone left a comment a couple of days ago and said, I want to know if you are truly a Christian. Yes, I am a Christian. I believe that Jesus is the Messiah. I believe that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior back in 2013. And Jesus changed my life. Okay. Before, you know, BC times, uh, I was involved in, you know, certain bad groups, let's say gangs and stuff like that. I was into drugs and I, you know, almost overdosed on ecstasy pill. And again, God gave me a second chance. And uh, I met my beautiful wife um, in 2011. And from there, you know, it, you know, everything changed. And I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior in um, February of 2013. We went out fishing, and there was these group of people, young people, male, young male. I, you know, they had to be in, in their 20s, and they stopped me. I was putting the stuff in the truck. I was putting the fishing pole and everything. They stopped me, and they asked me, sir, do you know who Jesus Christ is? Can we talk to you? And from there, everything changed. So I am a Christian. Uh, for those of you who are new, I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Thoughts on today's verse. God has given each of us a circle of influence, a place where our lives impact others for either good or ill. In much the same way, each of us is also influenced by others and some of whom can help us see and overcome our problems and shortcomings, while others seem to only drag us down into the mire of sin However, if we reject or snub discipline and correction, we not only harm ourselves, but also lead others astray. We drag others down with us into the mire of sin. Our choices don't just determine our destination. They also signif significantly impact others for good or evil. Mm. Here's a prayer. Dear God, Please forgive my times of foolish arrogance and lazy indifference to your truth, correction, and wisdom. 
You have humbled me by the realization that you have made my life a significant influence on others. So please empower me, dear Father, to use that influence to gently and humbly lead others in the way of your life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago. Oh, my wife, Jessica Santiago at 3432 U.S. Highway 19. Number two, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Very powerful verse. Guys, make sure you share the verse, memorize the verse, study the verse, and um, get involved in scriptures in these last days. We are definitely seeing some great changes happening. Jesus says in the last days, there's going to be nation against nation. There's going to be famine. There's going to be pestilence. There's going to be earthquake. Signs of the heavens, the universe, the sun, the star, the moon, everything is happening. And at, in the last days, many will be astray. And that's what's going on right now. So many people are just being led to the wrong path. Now, supposedly... Uh, the sleeping giant is filled with 67% of Christians. 67%. Imagine that number. 67%. If that, was, again, if that was true, the sleeping giant would not be in a spot where you have lawlessness taking over. I mean, anybody could say I'm a Christian. Even the devil Satan could say I'm a Christian. He could walk around with a Bible too and deceive many. Wolves disguised in clothing of lamb. Anybody could call himself a Christian Big question is, are you truly, truly a Christian? All right, so let's see what's going on here. Please share the video. The bear, the king of the north, is sending a message to the Holy Land. The bear has issued a strong warning to the Holy Land. Uh-oh. Uh, this thing is getting like the battle of Gog and Magog. Advising against any strike on Persia nuclear facility. This statement comes as tensions rise in the region. With the bear signaling its opposition to potential Holy Land actions against Persia nuclear infrastructures. Alright, so let's pull up the full info here. Taz is putting out the information. The bear warns Holy Land not to strike Persia nuclear facility. Hmm. This, this will be a catastrophic development and a complete rejection of the existing postulates in the sphere of nuclear security. Mm -mm. Once again, uh, this is coming out from Taz, October 17, 2024. The bear warns Holy Land against even a hypothetical possibility of a strike on Persian nuclear facility. It will be catastrophic. Mm. We have repeatedly warned and continue to warn and caution the Holy Land against even hypothetically considering the possibility of a strike on Persian nuclear facility and nuclear infrastructure. This will be catastrophic, a catastrophic development and a complete rejection of the existing postulates in the sphere of nuclear security. The senior or senior diplomat said, on the evening of October the 1st, you have Persia Guards Corps, the IRGC, the elite unit of Persia Armed Forces, launched a ballistic, we're talking about massive hypersonic, against the Holy Land in retaliation for the takeout of top leaders, very important individuals here. Persia Capital Tehran said that 90% of the hypersonic successfully hit either, excuse me, successfully hit their designated targets. Now the Holy Land, in turn, said that Persia has fired some 180 hypersonic into the land, most of which were intercepted. So Holy Land ends up winning. If you kind of think about it, the Holy Land won this operation. The Holy Land has taken multiple, we're talking about very important people here. Not, not only one, but multiple. Persia, it took Persia a while. It took them like a month 
a month and a half to fire at Holy Land. They fired Hypersonic. Now the Holy Land came out and said there was no casual, to, you know what, you know, nobody was impacted. Everything is good. You know, everything is fine. This should have dropped it right there. But Benjamin is saying, no, we have to respond. Why, Ben? Why? When you guys push the button first, you hit and you took out someone uh, very important and you fired towards Persia Capital Tehran. Now, Persia had every right to respond. Again, I go by the rules that the, you know, these lands, all these lands, including the Sleeping Giant, you know, if a land gets hit, that land has every right to respond back. Now, the Holy Land, they don't have the right to respond back. They don't because they're the one who started it. They hit Tehran, the capital of Persia. And again, I'm not backing Persia. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just going by the laws that got put in place. Now, the Bible says that uh, you must respect laws. You must respect the laws. Again, if not, then you're basically a lawlessness. You know, you don't want to be uh, lawlessness. October 11, the Bear Foreign Minister Sergi said at a press conference in Laos that carrying out warning strike to Iran's peaceful nuclear facility in response to a Persia missile strike on Holy Land will be a very serious provocation. So the Bear is putting out their warning. To the Holy Land. Don't do it. Now you guys know that the Holy Land, they don't take no, uh, nothing. I mean, they don't, again, they don't like being told what to do. All right. So the Sleeping Giant, many times the Sleeping Giant been telling them what to do. Benjamin is like, you don't tell them. Uh, again, we will listen to you. We will listen to your opinion. But at the very end, we make the decision. Ooh. Jesse Whoa. said she didn't care if you were recording. The inspectors uh, Okay, hold on, Dean. Wow. Okay. Wow. Someone was right there next to me, and it, it, it just stood right there. So, guys, I'm going to have to end this video. Uh, I got the insurance company that just came in, um, and they're going to be taking pictures and everything. So, the insurance person just got here. So, this is the end of the article. This is the breaking news. So, uh, please share the video. And uh, I will keep it updated. And like I said, this is like the battle of Gog and Magog. Ezekiel 38 and 39. This is just the tip of it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please share the video. For those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago. Oh, my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.